Hello guys, learn Android programming step by step through developing a project. By the end of this video sessions, you will be able to develop your own applications. Please post your comments or queries on the YouTube page. Hello, welcome to Android project development tutorial. In this tutorial video, we are going to develop an Android project for a multiple choice test. For this test, I am using a question with four options. So let us run and see the project. We have the emulator ready. This is the GUI initial screen for the application. We have two options here. One is admin and another one is test. Admin is only for developing the application with the questions for making the questions into the databases and for the user this word we are using only the test option once if the test option is selected we will get the test into start mode we can start the test so now the test is started i have given only four questions and there are four records in the database I'm using MySQL, uh, sorry, I'm using SQLite database. SQLite is a scaled down version of MySQL database, of course. And we have one question of QBasic. Let x equal to y minus 2. And four choices of answers are given. User can click on any one of the choice. If the answer is correct, then we'll get a message it is correct and if it is wrong then the correct choice also will be displayed we have we are using a convention that the first one is a b c options the names of the options it is not mentioned but it's a convention the first one is a and the last one is d so for this question i am going to give an answer the variable x receives the value of y minus 2 this is the correct answer i am going to click on the correct answer yeah, the entire thing got disabled and I got a tick mark. So I will be getting one mark for this answer. After the delay, we are getting the next set of question and the choices. So here we have the question and we have to go for the answer. I am going to give the option D. I don't know which is the option, which is the correct answer. So I am going to click on D. Of course, it's a wrong answer and the correct answer was A. So if the answer is correct, then it will give the correct option. And after every click, there will be a delay so that we can review, review the questions and verify our answers. If it is wrong, we can check with the correct option which is displayed over here. So the third one, print X, comma y dollar comma z dollar and we have to find which is the answer one numerical value and two string values are printed because in basic y dollar and z dollar are string variables and x is a numerical variable the answer is correct you are correct it is displayed now it is waiting for the next one there is a delay given in between all questions. So now the fourth one, I think this must be the last one. Let C equal to A plus B. The numerical value C is assigned the value of A plus B. This is the correct one. You are correct. And again a delay given. We can still analyze the options and the questions. Yeah, the test is finished because I have given only four questions and the choices i i've got three out of four there were totally four questions and three of which was correct okay this is the application which we have to develop these questions and the options these values are ended in a database that is sqlite database so that values also given programmatically so that was given when the admin was enabled 
After developing the application, I thought it was needed for the users. This is only for the administrative purpose. This can be enabled by giving some username password so that any time we can use it. Or what I thought is that anyhow we are using the software so that then we can add different kinds of questions. So I have a Java file here and in .xml. These are all the two resources, main resources used. And additionally, some images also used to show whether the answer is correct or wrong. So this line means nothing is visible and for if the answer is right and if the answer is wrong, two images will be displayed here. There is an option for deleting the entire contents in the table and for inserting as well. Initially I thought I could by typing the data manually but I found it is very difficult for that what I planning I did is I made the questions and answers in a text file and each of the fields are separated with a special character I used hash here and in my program Java program I am reading the text file I am reading the text file line after line and inserting into the table I have a database mydb and I am creating a table here and I am inserting the values here one after another. So from the line I will be separating each field with the present character this ash. Up to this it will be one field from here till the next ash symbol it will be the next field like that I have six different fields in the first one is the question and uh, for choices and finally we have the correct answer option A, B, C which is the correct word that is also stored in the table. So it is very easy for data entry. Just type the type and make the data the question bank in the text file and our program itself will take extract and it will insert into it. And the details of the programs I will discuss in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe the channel. I will be uploading more videos on this channel. Please don't forget to put your comments on the pages and please click like if you like it. Wish you a wonderful and successful day. Bye.